Hello guys, welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, I'm going to solve question 8 of ISC 2009 Computer Science Theory Paper. So the question says, design a class matrep to reverse each element of a matrix. Okay, some of the members of the class are given below. So this given matrix becomes 72, 3, 7, 1, 5 becomes 2, 7. Oh, each of the element is reversed. Okay, this is, I guess, pretty simple. So data members you have are ARR which is to store integer elements, okay, M to store the number of rows, N to store the number of columns, okay. Matrep you have MM and NN that parameterized constructor to initialize the data members M and N, okay. Fill array to enter elements in the array. Reverse X to return, return the reverse of the number X. Uh, rev mat, uh, mat rev P reverses each element of the array. A parameter of the parameter and stores in the array of the current object reverses each element of the array of the parameterized object and stores it in the array of the current object okay so this is you this is a little to think about okay why should you displace the elements of the matrix form so in questions like these so you should read the complete questions to exactly know what is the what is they are asking define the class matrix given details of constructor void fill array in reverse in void uh, void rev mat and void show define the main function to create two objects and call the function accordingly to enable the task okay void rev mat takes a matrix p so this method can be called this method is called on a mat rev object okay so mat rev object this method is called an another mat rev is passed so reverses each element of the array of the parameterized object okay so whatever elements of the array of this p are are reversed and stored in the array of the current object so whatever is in p is not changed but contents of p okay are changed to uh, contents of p are reversed and stored in the uh, calling object okay so this question is pretty clear to me so whenever you have questions like these give yourself some time to you know analyze and think how much how how are going, how are you going to approach this give yourself enough space so that you have you know you come back and you want to add something you have enough space for that so let me get started with this so i have okay question so i'm going to as usual write it in a txt file first and then i'm going to copy it to a java file and test it so class mat ref, mat ref okay keeping the name of the class exactly the same so whenever i solve question for boards my job is to keep things as close as possible given in the question so i have a constructor arr okay the private members members private members okay private int arr okay private int m private int n okay the constructor okay public mat rev int m int n n so you see that i keep the name of the parameters in this mat rev also same as given in the question okay int mm and nn so i set m is equals to mm and n is equals to nn okay and create an array of this size okay so arr is equals to new int m comma n okay because this is what is the size of the array should be and so we need to give memory to the array as well okay and then the next method is void fill array okay void fill array oh. public void fill array okay fill array a has to be small so as i told as i always tell you keep the method names exactly the same as given in the question so it it says that it is to enter elements in the array okay But there is like it does not take any parameter so we have to open a scanner here uh, uh, add elements to it and then close it okay so scanner to read objects import java dot ut dot scanner okay so i have scanner scanner equals new scanner system dot in okay read m into n elements okay so system dot out print ln enter plus m into 
n elements integers okay and read so for int i is equals to 0 i is less than n i plus plus for int j is equals to 0 less than n j plus plus and then you have air of i comma j is equals to new oh is equals to scanner dot next int okay cool i filled the array okay and i'm done okay moving on it says int reverse method to reverse okay so public int reverse okay int x x is there right int x returns the reverse of the number so you can use a string approach or a numerical approach i'm going to take a numerical approach so reverse this number so uh int reverse is equals to zero extract digits and add to it so while x is not equal to zero okay get a digit so int digit is equals to x percent 10 okay add this to the rev so rev is equals to rev into 10 plus digit and then remove this digit so rev oh x is equals to x by 10 and return rev okay and then when we have then we have I'm going to uh, complete void show first, so I'm going to keep public void rev mat void rev mat takes a mat rev object of type type of mat rev object. Okay, the parameter name is p. So we'll complete this later. Void public void show. Okay. Okay. So let me just display the matrix. So I'm going to copy this loop. And system dot out dot print mm. AR of I comma J plus a tab. Okay. And then I'm going to change the line system dot out dot print ln okay okay so i guess everything is fine here print okay now you have to do some thinking about this rev mat thing because see it we this method is called from a matter of object right so if when it is called from a matter of object a matter of object already has its own 2d array right and then it is being it is passed another matter which has its another matter so, uh, another 2d array so this p has its own 2d array and the method in from which the object from which this method is called has its own 2d array question says reverses each element of the array of the parameterized object so you have to reverse each element of the 2d array of this matter of p and store it in the array of the current object so first of all you need to do is make the size of this current object array equal to the size of the array passed okay since reverse of each element of array of p is to be stored in the in the current object set the size first so this dot m is equals to p dot m okay and this dot n is equals to p dot n okay and then what i do is i uh yeah recreate array so arr is equals to new int m comma n okay reverse 
each value so for int i is equal to 0 i less than m i plus plus j is equal to 0 j is less than n j plus plus and a r of i j is equals to i'll use a words okay of p dot a r r of i j okay now there is one thing that you can argue that m and n are private right i have kept m and n of private so how can i directly assess m and n of p or in for that case m n and a r of p directly without using a getter right so this is because this piece of code is inside matter of class only and in this since this piece of code is inside matter of class it is it can assess the private data members okay had this piece of code been outside this class this p would dot m or p dot n would have would not have worked okay so this is done so let me just quickly check the code oh i need to have a main as well so a main main method so what i do is okay so what i do is um, i take mat ref is the name of the object class right okay mat ref mr1 is equals to new mat ref okay i pass 2 comma 2 this okay okay and i am not populating it okay so i take another object i say mat ref mr2 is equals to new mat ref okay 3 comma 3 i am going to add elements to this mr2 okay add elements so mr2 dot fill array okay okay now i am going to save the reverse of mr2 into mr1 okay so say reverse of mr2 in mr1 so i have to call reverse from mr1 so i call mr1 dot rev mat and i pass mr2 okay so now that you see mr1 is 2 by 2 into 2 and mr2 is 3 into 3 so now that i have now that i am calling rev mat on mr1 so mr1 the 2d array in mr1 will take the dimensions of mr2 because that is what i am doing first i set the dimensions first i recreate the array okay and uh, then i set all the data members to the reverse of this array of p okay so this will not give us an error okay so i am not populating the elements of mr1 because that's not needed because i will eventually store the reverse of mr2 in mr1 okay so let me just quickly check if everything is fine class matrep private int arr private int mm mn public matrep okay m equals to mm n equals to nm let me check the name of the methods show fill array oh i need to show as well right show mr1 so mr1 dot show okay so i will so i will show mr2 also mr2 dot show so system dot out dot println matrix okay the matrix that we have entered and then mr1 stores the reverse of this so print ln sorry not m so these are the silly mistakes that you generally make okay backslash n matrix reverse okay and it is in mr1 dot show okay so okay i was just checking for errors always make sure that you give it a thorough check that you have not made any simple syntactical errors scanner scanner system dot in system dot order to enter m into n integers okay i is equal to zero is then n j is equal to zero is then n r i is scanner dot next int public int reverse is reverse go while x not equal to zero digit is x percent 10 reverse is equal to zero into 10 plus digit x equals to x by 10 okay rev mat is this dot m equals to p dot m this dot n equals to p dot n m into n okay for it i is greater than m for j is equal to j is greater than n okay so this is this is uh this is the shorthand way of writing so this as you all know if you don't have a pair of curly braces right after a for loop so the first statement becomes the body of the for loop 
so this is the body for this for loop okay and this is the body for this for loop so basically this will run like a proper 2d array just minimizing the amount of code by removing the parenthesis the curly braces pure of okay then i have 0 less than m j less than n system dot order dot print here i j plus tab and system dot order dot print ln public static void main matter of matter with the name of the class okay r1 is going to be matter of 2 2 matter of r2 is going to be matter of 3 3 and r2 dot fill array i fill in mr2 3 by 3 i reverse mr2 and store it mr1 i show mr2 first because that was the array in which i entered elements mr1 dot show so let me just compile and check it question 8 right so question 8 uh, error no error i'm glad there is no error okay so i need to enter 9 entities i will enter 72371 72371 and 5 next 3 are 126226 12, and 426 426 and next three are five one two three nine four five one two three and nine four okay so seventy two three seven one five so twelve six four two six five one two three nine four i had two seven one seven three five two one six six two four five three two one and four nine which is exactly what we are expecting because as you can see in this method reverses each element of the array of the parameterized object p okay which is p and stores in the array of the current object so when i call mr one dot rev mat mr2 so all objects of mr2 are reversed and stored in mr1 whereas mr2 remains unchanged okay because there is nothing mentioned about what happens to p so i assume it is going to be unchanged okay so this was the solution to question 8 i hope this was helpful so please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and thank you for watching